guys, Jessica here. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving a little makeover to this bookshelf that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace for $45. I bought this bookshelf to go in the corner of my living room and to fit my cottage theme a little bit better I am going to be painting it white. So to start off this project I removed the shelves and I removed the doors on the bottom part of the bookshelf. Next, I remove the back of the bookshelf. I am going to be adding b-board instead to give it a different look. I have some b-board left over from when I refinished an old desk and turned it into a coffee bar for my kitchen. So the b-board won't cost me anything for this project. I used a screwdriver to pry off the board and then I removed all of the staples. So you can see in the shot that the bookshelf is made of some solid wood, although the side is made of pressed wood with a veneer on it. So next, I gave this bookshelf a really good cleaning using a damp rag with Dawn dish soap on it, and then I came back with a clean, wet rag to remove any of the residue. I am going to be priming this piece before painting it. I am using Zinzer Primer, at least I think that's how you say that. We had this big five gallon bucket of this primer left over from our house remodel. I can't say that I love this primer. It's an oil base and it smells very strongly and it doesn't have the best coverage. So I don't know if I would recommend this for any of you guys. <laughs> but since we had so much of it, I figured I might as well use it up and this would be a good project to use it on. I used a roller to roll it on and I ended up applying three coats of the primer to get the coverage that I was happy with. So for the doors, I removed all of the hardware and I put them in a bag so that I wouldn't lose anything and I primed the doors as well. And after three coats of primer were dry, it is now time to paint. I am going to be using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white color. And I also rolled it on with a roller. There were just a few places that were hard to reach and I had to use a paintbrush. So I applied two coats of the paint and after that was all dry, I am going to be sealing it using this polyurethane water-based polyurethane. And I brushed it on with a synthetic brush. And I applied two coats to the bookshelf and also to the doors. Now it is time to replace the backing for the bookshelf. I pulled the sheet of b-board out of storage and brought it to my workroom. Ignore the mess, this room is just a disaster zone right now. I'm going to clean it up though here soon. I used a jigsaw to cut it out and then used a finishing nail gun to nail it in place. My hubby helped hold it in place while I nailed it to the bookshelf. Now it is time to replace all the hardware and put the doors back up. So just a quick reminder of what the bookshelf looked like before and here it is now. It matches much better with my living room. I really like how it turned out and I like the look of that the b-board gives in the back. I think it adds a nice a cottagey feel to it and I just really like how this piece turned out. Talk numbers real quick. I spent $45 on the bookshelf and I figured between the primer and the sealer and the paint I have about $10 in that. 
So that is a total cost of 55 bucks. So not too bad for a cute little bookshelf for my living room. So anyways, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you are not already a subscriber to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. If you are interested in crafting DIY projects, home renovations, home decor, all sorts of stuff, then you will definitely enjoy my channel. So hopefully you'll subscribe, stick around, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.